guys, so if you've ever tasted cookie butter in your life, then you know it's one of the most delicious things on the entire planet, which is why I'm showing you exactly how to DIY cookie butter right in your own kitchen. My name is Tessa and I'm from HandleTheHeat.com where I love to share homemade baking recipes, kitchen tips, and articles about the science of baking. And today I'm actually going to be covering two different methods that you can use to make cookie butter right at home using any cookie you want. This is totally customizable and I can't wait to dive in. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go over method number one using classic Biscoff cookies or Speculoos cookies. This is what most cookie butter that you're familiar with is made out of. And I'm just taking eight ounces of Biscoff cookies or about 28 cookies and finally grinding them in my food processor. You can also use a blender. So method one is super simple. I'm just adding two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use any type of sugar you want. And I'm adding in heavy cream. You can add in as much or as little cream as you want to get your desired texture, but I'm going to add in about a third a cup of heavy cream or until the Biscoff cookies look like wet sand. And this is the type of texture I like. I like it to be really thick. If you want it to be thinner, go ahead and add more heavy cream. So as a last step for extra richness, I'm just adding a tablespoon of melted butter. This is optional, you don't have to add this, but I think it gives the cookie butter a nice, rich, smooth taste and texture. And I'm just going to stir that in until it's all combined. You can also add all the ingredients in the food processor, you don't actually have to stir it, but I wanted to show you what kind of textures you're looking for. And yep, it definitely tastes good. So I'm just going to put this in a pint-sized mason jar and store this in the fridge. So now I wanna show you how you can make chocolate chip cookie butter. So I'm just taking chocolate chip cookies from the store. They're not even homemade. They're actually the crunchy store-bought kind. I got them from Trader Joe's. Again, eight ounces is the amount you're looking for. For these chocolate chip cookies, it was about 23 cookies. And I'm just repeating the same process, grinding the cookies, adding sugar, heavy cream, and milk until I get the desired consistency that I'm looking for. And for these ones, I went a little bit thinner because I wanted to dip everything in the chocolate chip cookie. It's so good. It's good by the spoonful too. You don't even need anything to dip it in. And I found these really cute chalkboard labels at Amazon, and I'll go ahead and link those below for you. Okay, let's move on to method number two, and I'm going to be using Oreo cookies to show you this. And I've actually scooped out the filling from all of the Oreo cookies and placed it in a saucepan. And I'll get to what we do with that in just a second. But for now, I'm just grinding up my Oreo cookies. I'm looking for eight ounces of cookie crumbs. And this, I think it ended up being about 26 Oreos, but I'll have the full principal recipe at the link below. And again, I've just ground them in my food processor. And so this method number two uses sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk. And this is a much richer version of the cookie butter recipe and it takes a little bit more time, but I think it gives you maybe a little bit closer to what you'd find in the store because it is so rich and it is really sweet. So in my saucepan, I have the Oreo cream that I scooped from the fillings and I'm adding in four tablespoons of unsalted butter a quarter cup of evaporated milk, and half a cup of sweetened condensed milk. And I'm going to take this to my stove until it's all melted on medium low heat. And then I'm gradually going to stir in my Oreo cookie crumbs until again, I get the consistency that I'm looking for. And with any of these cookie butters, you can use any type of cookie you want. You just wanna make sure that it's more of a crunchy, drier cookie. Anything really soft or chewy isn't going to grind up really nicely into a butter. You wanna make sure that it's on the crunchier side. So if you wanna do peanut butter, nutter butters are great cookies to use for that. Anything that's crunchy like um, graham crackers or ginger snaps or wafers, anything like that will be perfect. So again, I'm just adding the crumbs until I get a consistency and I wanted to dip strawberries and fruit into the Oreo butter. So I made it a pretty thin consistency. And again, I'm just putting this in a mason jar and I'm going to store it in the fridge until it's ready to use. All right guys, so that's exactly how you can make cookie butter right in your own kitchen. I can't wait to see what your custom cookie butter creations are. If you upload to Instagram, be sure to tag me and use the hashtag handle the heat so I can see all of your beautiful creations. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, 
share it with your cookie butter loving friends, and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next time, and I'll make that happen for you. I'll catch you around in another video soon. I'm going to take a spoonful of my favorite homemade cookie butter. It is so good. Mmm, it smells and tastes basically like pure heaven. So good.